Welcome back to Thrani, I'm Joe B. Today we'll be talking about how to improve your multi-directional reactive leaning balance in that way you can prevent loss of balances or falls in your daily tasks, specifically when you are reaching or pulling for something while standing on a step stool. Let's dive in. Your body must adapt to three daily balance activities to perform its day-to-day -day tasks. These are static, reactive, and dynamic balance activities. Reactive balance is your body's ability to perform certain activities without losing balance or falling by using leaning and stepping reactions. Examples can be when catching yourself after opening a heavy door or walking against strong winds. For this video, we will focus on how to assess and treat reactive leaning balance or your ankle and hip strategies. Your reactive leaning balance can be impaired after a neurologic system dysfunction like traumatic brain injury, cerebral or cerebellar stroke, or multiple sclerosis which can result to right or left-sided weakness that can cause the leaning reaction on that side to be slow. At the same rate, your reactive balance can also be impaired due to Parkinson's disease, which can result to rigidity and slowness of movement, therefore lessening the speed of leaning reaction. Finally, normal physiologic aging can also reduce speed of leaning reactions due to reduction in lean muscle mass. To assess the forward reactive leaning balance and determine weak ankle plantar flexors and hip extensors, do the treadmill test. Patient stance facing the treadmill controls, arms at sides, base of support at 2-4 to four inches, and wearing a gait belt. The therapist is at the side with controls within reach to stop the treadmill if necessary. Patient is instructed to stand still. As the treadmill is turned on for one second and then turned off. Normal response is a trunk lean forward, indicating timely reactive response and strong ankle plantar flexors as well as the hip extensors. Abnormal response is immediate forward stepping and reaching response, indicating heavy reliance on forward stepping strategy. To treat, we do the forward leans. Patient stands in front of a wall corner with chair in front for safety. Patient leans forward until the toes are felt to curl and the heel starts rising from the floor. The position is held for 6 seconds for 10 reps. And this particular activity is performed for 6 months or a cumulative 60 hours of total compliance. To assess the backward reactive leaning balance and determine weakness of ankle dorsiflexors and hip flexors, do the treadmill test as well. Patient stands facing away from the treadmill controls, arms at sides, base of support 2 to 4 inches, and wearing a gait belt. The therapist will be at the side with controls within reach to stop the treadmill if necessary. The patient is instructed to stand still as the treadmill is turned on for one second and then turned off. Normal response is just a trunk lean backward indicating timely reactive leaning response and strong ankle dorsiflexors and hip flexors. Abnormal response is immediate backward stepping and reaching response indicating heavy reliance on the backward stepping strategy as well as the reach reflex. To treat, we do the backward leans. Patient stands in front of a wall corner with chair in front for safety. The patient leans backwards until toes are felt to rise from the floor. The position is held for 6 seconds for 10 reps and this particular activity is performed for 6 months or a cumulative 60 hours of compliance. To assess the lateral reactive leaning balance and determine weak ankle peroneal muscles as well as hip abductors, also do the treadmill test. Patient stands with left shoulder close to the treadmill controls, arms at sides, 
base of support at two to four inches, and wearing a gait belt. The therapist will be at the side with controls within reach or the gait belt within reach to stop the treadmill if necessary. The patient is instructed to stand still as the treadmill is turned on for one second and then turned off. Normal response is a trunk list to the left indicating timely reactive response and strong ankle peroneal muscles as well as hip abductors. Abnormal response is immediate lateral stepping and reaching response indicating heavy reliance on the lateral stepping strategy and reaching reflex. To check the opposite lateral reaction, then just turn 180 degrees such that the right shoulder is close to the treadmill controls. To treat, we do the lateral leans. Patient stands in front of a wall corner with the chair in front for safety. The patient abducts the left shoulder to 90 degrees and reaches as far as able until the opposite foot are felt to rise from the floor. The position is held for six seconds for 10 reps. This is also done for six months or a cumulative 60 hours of compliance. So do you want to improve reactive stepping to prevent falls when someone inadvertently pushes on you from back, front, or sides? If so, then watch this next video. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please like, share, and comment. And for more therapy animations, please subscribe to Therani.